Hey, what's up, guys? Jazz Guns are here. What's next? This is something uh, that caught uh, my eye last night. And I'll tell you right now, this thing has exploded over the last 24 hours. Um, this, I will put it in the category of badassery. That's as, as, as plain as I could put it. Badassery. We're going to go to South Africa where this is an in-dash cam of two gentlemen driving what seems to be a transport truck. And um, something happens along the way. Let's take a look. We're just going to let this play out. The version I was watching was a lot more sudden, but... <laughs> Trust me, it's coming. And here we go. Get out your popcorn, kids. I mean, you can clearly see the gunshots on the driver's side window. I mean, I was just, I was just blown away. I was just blown away by this. But the way he is handling this. Now you're pretty much thinking, okay, you know, you got away. You're gonna shoot. You're gonna fucking shoot. Oh no, my friends. Now, of course, his partner with the could be an AR-15. Um, definitely, uh, definitely, um, possibly, uh, you know, some sort of um, automatic rifle. Um, has just been handed a phone, as you can see, and he's, I guess, contacting backup. But then again, the focus goes on the guy who's driving. He's like, dude, give me the gun. Give me the gun. I'll handle this. All right. My thoughts. Um, wow. I mean, I was just, I mean, I, when I saw that last night, I was just blown away by how homie in the driver's seat was just, uh, there was a saying, there was an old ESPN saying by a former commentator who passed away. He was cool as the other side of the pillow. And that's what he was. You can tell the way he was driving, tell the way he was handling. I mean, after the first gunshots, he, uh, you know, he focused on his driving. I mean, at, at the same time, you know, he was just being OG. He was just being OG. He was just being smooth. Uh, now his partner, um, his partner on the other side, yeah, he looked like he didn't want to be there. Um, I can, you can definitely tell that he was not prepared for this. That I think that uh, when he got in there, he thought that they were just going to do, a, um, you know, just have a nice, friendly stroll and maybe 
chit chat about the weather or or you know of course in South Africa it would be soccer or or what have you you know what color socks are you wearing what do you what do you uh, would you have for breakfast breakfast excuse me but um, when everything went down and then he and then he had the sense the driver to cross over the median to basically to to throw uh, throw the uh, not the yeah the would be uh, pursuers the would be uh, criminals you know off track he crosses over the median so that way to get away to get away from them basically and it was just um, it was just amazing to see I mean it was it was it was badassery I mean the dude and the homie was driving and um, I think his partner uh, after this um, I won't be surprised if he went into ongoing training for the potential of next time because there's always a potential for next time but uh like i said this video came from south africa came from inside uh the dash cam of the vehicle and uh it was just that this 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 is popcorn this is just total popcorn material and to me um Definitely better than anything Hollywood has produced in several years. To borrow from uh, Steven Crowder, change my mind. And with that being said, I'm Jazz Gonzo. This is what's next. That man is a badass. Want to see more videos just like this? Please comment below. Like it, share it, subscribe it. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss a thing. And we'll see you guys next time. Peace.